1983, I had my first heart attack. I was actually warned by a physician that I was about to have a heart attack because I had had some symptoms. I had to have bypasses, several bypasses, and in addition to the bypasses, I had to uh, get my circulation back good, so I did a lot of rehab over a year or two and uh, pretty much recovered from all the stresses of that first heart attack and the invasion of, uh, and the addition of those uh, bypasses. The, the most remarkable turning point since 1983 was this time a year ago when they decided to give me a defibrillator pacemaker and put some more stents and a couple of more stents in my bypasses. My heart was having spasms because I do have congestive heart failure. There are some of the muscles in my heart are, have deteriorated and others will still deteriorate. And this uh, defibrillator, as those episodes occur, so long as they're not um, tremendous, will bounce back and get me uh, to the hospital. And uh, so I'm, I was comfortable uh, after I got out of the hospital in March knowing that I had a pacemaker defibrillator and I saw my regular heartbeat because I would exercise and it would settle back down. I'd exercise and settle back down. So I knew that the, the thing was working and working well. But boy, when it uh, worked as a defibrillator, I had a whole new confidence in what had been done for me. And uh, it's just incredible the uh, amount of protection um, a defibrillator gives you when you're carrying it on board and not waiting for emergency folks to get there, maybe too late. <laughs> so it's a wonderful thing.